Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today we're playing some Ymir. And I am almost at 20,000 worshippers on Ymir. Very close. Uh, so that's good. And we got Ymir versus on her. I, I, I got, personally, I love this matchup. I've actually played it a lot on my channel. But it's usually a pretty close matchup. It depends. Uh, but I decided that for this match, and now that I'm up against on her, I don't know if this is a good idea. But I'm going to play... A different playstyle because I always show my kind of safe playstyle on Ymir and the idea for this match is going to be I'm going to play as aggressive as humanly possible as Ymir because Ymir has a stupid stupid good early game now against on her it's kind of tough but that's what I wanted to do today so we're going to see if we can do it so I'm going mannequins bankrofts into horrific emblem which is a huge gamble of a start by the way Let's see if I can get his his leap or so. Alright, there's his his shell. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on. The hyper aggressive early game. Again, it's not as good against on her, because on her has so many ways to get away from me. But uh, against most gods, this is this is just a high risk, high reward start, especially if they don't start like beads or uh, horrific, because you can just kill them super early. Now I didn't actually get a kill there, but I should be able to secure red buff, which is already starting our snowball. And this build can work into late game. I just don't like the mannequins on uh, Ymir late game. I don't like mannequins on Ymir generally, but that's my play style, right? There's different ways we can play Ymir and if we're playing hyper aggressive then it's the right item here so here part of playing hyper aggressive I secured red now I secure his uh blue buff again kind of risky but is it I'm Ymir right plus I heal with my mannequins so it's not that risky I do need to have my wall ready just in case okay now we go back to lane looks like he recalled now I can either recall here or try to go for Minnie's blue buff, which would be very, very greedy to go for uh, the Minis. So I think I'm going to go for my blue buff. I should be able to get it. As long as I have my wall up, I don't think he can kill me. I feel like there's a high chance he tries to jump over this wall or he just goes for Minis. He actually lost like a quarter of his health to that wave. If I had some health potions, I would stay here. All right. So, good start. I'm going to get one ward just to stay near the jungle or stay near, like, near his jungle, I guess. Just to make sure I know where he is. So, no first blood on this hyper-aggressive start, but, again, I'm already, already, like, 200 gold ahead or so. Nice. He actually stopped his back before I walled. Okay. Another good start would be Blink against on her. I'll probably get that second relic, but we'll see. I don't think he ever took minis, did he? Maybe he did. I'm gonna go for it. Go for it anyways, just get the timer. Yeah, he did. Alright. So let's see. Are you staying, my dude? If you are staying, then maybe I can kill you with a nice horrific emblem. Probably not. On her has a lot of ways to get away from me. Let's get his leap. Okay, nice. I'm purposely playing a little, not even a little, very try hard, just because this is not my playstyle, and I thought about it, and I really wanted to get a game on YouTube of Ymir of being hyper aggressive because I don't play like this very often, and I think some people would like to see what. A hyper aggressive playstyle would look like. I think it can be fun. It's definitely not the type of thing I like to do. But yeah, okay, that's his. I mean, that's his alt, right? And he, I'm still gonna make him wait. And I'm doing that because red buff's coming up soon. I don't want him to recall and then be able to contest for red buff. I want, I want him to miss out on red buff completely. I'm gonna place my ward there. It's kind of a, in his tower. That's all right. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't going to contest this. Okay, now we clear the wave. Then I go get minis. 
And then, do I want to stay for his blue buff? That is very aggressive. I don't have Gilded Arrow, which gives a little bit of natural MP5. And I'm running a little low on mana. He knows I'm here. Like, he knows knows I'm here. But I, I can test for this anyways. Nice. Body block his autos. That way we get this. I should not fight this. In fact, I might be dead. I was going to try to run the other way, but now we're just kind of in trouble. I think I die here either way. I die here 100%. <laughs> oh, he missed? He missed his impel? Maybe I don't die now. You got his ult back? <laughs> Come on. Come on out here. Come on out here. I think I just kill him now, or I'm killed pretty soon. He's taking a lot of damage from Deep King. Oh my god. <laughs> I was tempted to stay because of how much damage he took. I, I, I genuinely might have killed him, but I would have had to get close enough to her to freeze him. And then he also had his leap up. And even with my horrific, I might have just died from his auto attacks before I was able to do that. But I mean, getting away there is huge. That's really good. Because again, I did steal his, his buff. So we're a nice, what, 500 gold ahead right now? We're not having any kills. That's nice. I was hoping to get a bunch of kills. It's not happening. I actually think Blink would have done better against on her than Horrific. All right, he's getting a little bit of defense now as well. I can actually take Demon King, but I don't. I only want to do that once he recalls. And that's part of the Ymir's magic. Being able to do that. That's a little trick I do sometimes. I just... Like, if they're in freeze range, I auto-attack because they're hovering over their escape button or whatever. And the moment they see an animation start, they're like, oh, Ymir's freezing, I'm going to jump. And, of course, I'm not actually jumping. I'm just I'm just uh, auto-attacking. But in that split second, trying to react instantly, it's a, a lot of people will mess that up. GMs won't mess that up, but I'd say, like, plat some diamond players. Oops. Now red buff's coming up. I'm just gonna go for Demon King though. I, I want this this start to be to be you know gaining some momentum with mannequins. I should take this pretty damn fast. Do I need to alt though? No, he's in lane. All right, so he gets red buff, but I get the Demon King. Also get minis. Obviously, missing a wave for that isn't great, but if I... It depends on the pressure I get for the next 84 seconds or whatever. All right, it looks like he's not even... He's just proxying the wave. He's not even going to get red buff. That's even better for me. Kind of want his blue buff again, but I'm going to focus my energy on red buff plus tower. Oh, he's behind me. <laughs> did not see him until the last moment. I thought, did you not recall? There's no way. Yeah, he didn't recall. Also, he's in a terrible spot right now. Ah, uh, he's going to leap over the wall. Oh, he didn't even leap over the wall, but it was about to come up. So I'm just going to focus on the tower here. Or on his uh, blue buff. I'm not, I haven't decided yet. Yeah, he's taking it. Nope. If I was a little bit faster on deciding there, I would have gotten that blue buff. He's doing exactly what he needs to do here. Which is, he's ignoring me and clearing the minions. Because look, I do 21 damage. <laughs> so I can't actually take this without a minion coming into range. And he knows that. Let's wall his impale. Oh, he waited this time. Never mind. So I got almost nothing out of that Demon King. I actually lost some minions. Now I'm only I'm only 400 gold ahead, which isn't much. So that kind of sucks. But it's not it's not that bad. I still got a red buff. 
I need attack speed badly. I also need a recall. I have so much gold. I was, I was really trying to make something out of that Demon King, but just didn't really happen. On her did what he was supposed to. He cleared the wave and all that. Let's get Demonic or Toxic. Let's get Demonic. Breathing Hecate or something like that. Now I am going to get Blink. Now this, of course, means that he can get Horrific himself, which would be bad for me. But I'm, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it because I think Blink would help me out so much more. Getting a little bit of movement speed would be nice for me too. Oops. Also, if he goes horrific, that means he won't have beads, which is really good for me. You know, for this being a hyper, me trying a hyper aggressive game, I'm not, I'm not able to do as much as I was hoping. Could recall, get another item. Yeah, he's recalling. Nothing's up right now. There's no reason not to recall. I'll place my wards pretty soon because Demon King's coming up. Definitely now that I have Demonic, I have more attack speed. So I'll have more tower damage too. Is he going to get that red? There's no way, right? No. I should be able to fight for it. He might take it kind of fast, but I don't think he'll take it fast enough. There we go. Now I have Blink up. Oh, I messed up my auto attack cancel there. I'm not going to have that much damage. Oh, I don't know why I ulted. I meant to have his uh, have that wall closer. That way he would be in my alt range. That was just kind of bad of me. He's probably going to leap away here. Yeah. I don't have nearly as much damage as I want. But, eh, we, we get red. He gets his blue. He's doing exactly what he needs to do. Trading uh, red for blue. Because I can't be two places at once. I'm just going to wall that. Make him clear the wave a little bit slower. Now does he think I'm going to go take this? He actually does. Ooh, now we clear this wave, and now we go for Demon King. Wall off some of the archers. That way it's just, they're just kind of not together, the wave. I'm not actually going to take this. He's, he has too much health and mana, he's going to stay. Ooh, wasn't thinking that would hit. I should just go take my blue at this point. Can't tell if he's recalling or not. He's not. Yeah, no, he he still has too much health to go for Demon King or anything like that. We should go Nimble, by the way. Uh, Bancroft's Nimble. It's good. Give me your item. Um, I might go Doom Orb. The movement speed would really help me this game. We're we're playing like kind of a cat and mouse. Where I'm chasing him and then I'm, I'm dodging his stuff. But just having a little bit of movement speed and more power. Uh, that could let me get in freeze range or force his escape before he wants to use it. Alright. Too bad my, bl my blink is down. That's alright. They're both full health and mana though. Getting my freeze off when I can't auto attack him is not that much poke. Like you can see, it's it's like an eighth of his health. I really have to be in range to actually hit him for it to matter. Ooh, nice, uh, nice little leap there. Now he's gonna impale me, or at least he's gonna do it in like a second. I don't know what happened to his impale there. Ooh, do I chase this? Ooh, nice. I love doing that as a mirror. You wall off their escape, and then whatever's the closest exit, that's where you throw the two. 
And they'll, they'll walk into it most of the time. Can't say every time. But most of the time. And I mean, if they don't walk into it, then they're trapped in a corner. Which is kind of good for you, but then your entire kit's down. So it, it depends. Initially, I wasn't going to dive for it because I thought I thought he would just get away for sure. Then I thought, thought about how much health I had, and it's like, letting him get away here would be, be a disgrace. Let's see if he leaps. Yep. Ooh, archers! Let's go, man. Good stuff. And I should have enough damage to just go take Demon King right now. I only really need my like to use my two a few times, so I should be able to take this. Let's see. Mir's pretty good at taking Demon King. He has good secure for it with his ult, but yeah, there it is. I'm just going to take minis because I'm here, and then we're going to recall. I already have 3,500 gold. So just like that, got one kill, and then got his tower. Was able to kill him again. Got Now I'm going to get Phoenix. Also, let's upgrade this now, I'd say, and let's finish with Rod of Duty. And maybe upgrade our Horrific, too. He got beads. Okay. And which one is this? This is the one that increases damage? Yep. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now, I kind of want to go take my blue buff for the XP and gold, but at this point, we just need to push his his Phoenix. If I can get one minion into there. Nice. Actually, the minions are still fighting each other. So even if though my minions die, we still get backdoor protections are gone. So I'm still doing a huge amount of damage to Phoenix as long as I stay in the, the range. All right, getting Phoenix, amazing. Okay, nice. Uh, I'm probably just gonna pop my two and leave. Yeah, it actually helped me leave there. Cool, cool, cool. I only have five stacks on Nimble, really. Oh no, 11 stacks. They should have different icons for this. They should have the regular Bancroft's icon for the lifesteal passive, the increased power, and then the purple one for the uh, for the extra attack speed. That would be more clear. Uh, he might get my tower here, but we're 17 minutes in the game. It doesn't matter. What I really want is I want that red buff. He also has a huge amount of health in that build. Your middle tower is under attack. All right, with Horrific, I think I can kill him here. Terrible wall. Terrible wall by me. He's going to go clear that mini wave. I need to cut him off. Or if he doesn't, that's fine. All right. Kind of wasted my... Well, that's not a waste. I got his beats. Trading Horrific for beats is worth here. We're in, we're in the late game, so my Horrific isn't as good. But since he doesn't have Sprint, I mean, trading Horrific for beats is still super worth. There used to be a trick where Ymir could damage Titan without taking damage, but I take damage for doing this now. But it's still good for keeping the Titan away, kind of. Oh my god, he's doing so much damage with that Executioner. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I'm running. I got the message. I got the message. I'm out. Uh, probably just going to go regular mannequins. It's, it's still physical damage as a magical god, which is good. Oh, he got Kinsize. Like I said, Kinsize one of the best items in the game, man. 
He got Kinsize. Do you see how obvious it was that he got Kinsize based on his damage output? He could still win this. He gets one good kill, he takes everything. Now what I really want is red buff plus power potion, then I'll have a huge amount of attack speed. Whoops. Let's play some wards, maybe go for Demon King. Going for Demon King here, I would have liked to go for it a little bit earlier, but if he comes to defend, he loses his Phoenix. And he has to defend the fire minions, so I get I get Demon King. Cool. The Doom Orb I might sell for like Soul Reaver. I don't even like Soul Reaver, but he has so much health as an as a hunter. Ooh, my blink's down. That sucks. Those mannequins. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a good opportunity that I would have had. I have to get this Phoenix, by the way. I have to get this Phoenix here. So I need to bait his escape without taking too much damage. Nice impale. Ooh, nice. I'm probably dead here. Kind of sucks. Oh. Hold on. I might be able to kill him when he leaps. Oh, I should have just blinked away. I should have just blinked away. I might... He doesn't get my Phoenix, but I don't get his Phoenix. I got greedy. I, I saw the opportunity to actually kill him because his impale was down, his beads were down, and he just leaped, right? So he's a sitting duck. But of course, Hunter Autos, they, they trade they trade hard, man. All right. It might be time to switch to Soul, Re switch to Soul Reaver. Uh, the movement speed's helpful, but... Um, again, I, I'm not a huge fan of Soul Reaver in the first place, but he just has far too much health for me to not get it. Um, let's also go these. I think he got red buff, right? Either way, whoever dies next, I think wins, uh, loses the game. So, kinda, kind of scary. Uh, blue buff's good here too, if I can't get red. Brings me to max cooldown. So maybe he won't expect it. Because I just went from 20% cooldown to 40% with power potion plus blue. Yeah, temporal beads, okay. He's going to be playing pretty safe. I'm okay with that. He's fast with Toxic Blade too. That's why Doom Orb wasn't helping me out too much. And I've, I could, of course, try blinking here, but blinking when his escape's up, I think it's just a wasted blink. I think it's better to be a little bit patient. Because if I don't get my freeze off, it's just it's just too dangerous. And even if I do, I might not even get anything out of it. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Okay, he didn't leap, thank goodness. Once my escape's down, he should just... Or once my freeze is down, he should just go for it sometimes. I might just go heal I got, and just upgrade my, my blink. I don't think he can do any damage to Phoenix without minions, right? I stand corrected. He got almost half my Phoenix. But maybe I go for Demon King now? <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. Well, he, he didn't recall. He's going for his blue buff. Oh, I don't have a ward over there, though. And this is not a deep enough ward. Oh, he is here. Okay. I'm glad I placed that.
Nice. Now he has to go clear that mini wave. Or he doesn't have to, but he's got to choose between the mini wave and me. You're going to leap? Damn, you're, pa you're a patient lion, aren't you? Not leaping there? Not leaping there? So we were doing a little bit of work there. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Dude, he's... All right, I won't wait. I won't wait. If you're going to hold on to it. I already got half your health. That's really good for me. He's in this really weird situation. I don't know what's the best move for him here. Because I, I could just keep doing this. You gonna ult the wave, dude? Okay, I'll be honest. I didn't realize how much health the Phoenix had regenerated. <laughs> oh man, forty second respawn. Do I lose? Damn, dude. When he, when I got him here. When when he he leaped over my wall, I should have went for Demon King. I don't think I should have actually gone like blinked towards him. Or blinking towards him was the right mis was the right move. But once he beats and he was going for the minion wave, I think going for Demon King would have been good there, because then he would have had to try to do the same thing at Demon King that he's been doing, which was dancing around me. But he wouldn't have gotten uh he he wouldn't have had his beads. He would have been a lot lower health. I didn't lose the game thankfully. But I don't know. This is this is getting really difficult. He's he's late game on her. This is where I genuinely think if I had Diamond Arrow, Diamond Arrow late game, it slaps, man. It slaps on your mirror. It gives so much damage and attack speed. Swapping demonic might be good. I I prefer an auto attack type build, but his playstyle is is very far, like playing very far for me. I don't think I'd be able to do that. Oh, he took my blue buff, too. He took everything. Is recalling here a bad idea? Nah, we're good. Ooh, do I want... I think we want Power Potion. Your beads are still down, right? Oh, terrible two, terrible two. This is bad for me. Dude, look at that Titan damage. GG's, man. GG's. I tried, I tried, you guys. I still think this was a good game overall. I think there were some good, good moments for a full gameplay, but damn, late game hunters, man. Uh, late game hunters is so good. That also goes to show why. I'm not a huge fan. It's man, It doesn't match my playstyle to be super hyper aggressive like that. But it is a viable playstyle on Ymir that I think you all should be aware of. Um, and I don't. I don't, maybe keeping the mannequins late game was a bad idea just because uh, against Honor. I, this match. This playstyle is very very effective against some mages, some assassins, uh, warriors. It's against certain hunters, it's really good. But against on her, on her is a very specific god that he has his leap. He can impale you away. He can slow you down. And then he has CC, uh, CC mute alt he can use while moving. And with all of those, it actually makes him a very, very safe god. So don't know how effective this is against on her. Overall, I think my Gilded Arrow build is a little bit better. But I hope you guys enjoyed this game. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, buddy.